all over at St Mary's. It's finished Arsenal 1, Southampton 1, or Southampton 1, Arsenal 1, whatever way you want to put it. A frustrating afternoon for the Gunners after a really, really good and positive start to the game. We came down here today knowing that it was going to be difficult, knowing that it was going to be tricky. All the away games in the Premier League are. And there was a bit in my mind, certainly, uh, about what happened last season. You know, Arsenal struggled here. They were beaten here. And that was part of that disastrous run that ultimately led to us missing out on a top four place. Um, as I say, the game today started really, really well, really well. Um, you know, the Gunners were controlling possession, dictating the play, building from the back, finding the spaces in between the lines. Gabriel Jesus was all over the place, causing them problems. Uh, Martinelli was taking people on. Saka and Nuisance as well on the right. Partey was uh, was having a bit of a Partey in the middle of the park because he was uh, getting on the ball, turning, dictating play. But there were chances that Arsenal really needed to take and they didn't. You know, there was a penalty appeal that for me uh, probably was a penalty, a foul on Gabriel Jesus. We didn't get the rub of the green in that sense and that will frustrate, of course. I thought the referee, for what, it worth, what it's worth, was awful actually all afternoon. I think we should have had a penalty in the second half as well when Kieran Tierney was fouled uh, at the back post. But, you know, referee aside, I thought the way Arsenal started the second half was really, really disappointing. And we kind of were giving Southampton encouragement, giving them signs, giving them things to look at and, and sort of take encouragement from and giving them a reason to kind of really up their level from an intensity point of view. And, and they did that, to be fair. They were much more competitive in the second half. They stopped us playing. Um, you know, they cut out the passing lanes. They were much more uh, aggressive in the way they pressed. They were much more aggressive in the way they handled the likes of Gabriel Jesus and Martinelli and Saka, who had very little impact in the second half. The Tommy Asu thing for me, though, is, is a big debate. Again, you know, I said that I wouldn't have picked him going into this match, not because I don't think he's great defensively, but because I think it disrupts our rhythm, our flow, the way we build up when our left back is having to check onto his right foot all the time. It's a problem and he's not two footed. You can see that clearly. You know, we've been having this debate back and forth with members of the channel. Is he two footed? No, he's not because he's not as competent on his left as he is on his right. And you can see that by the fact that he constantly looks to check back inside. That disrupts the flow. That disrupts the rhythm. It stops us moving the ball quickly enough at times. And we just lose that bit of sharpness. And as a consequence, our opponents can get back behind the ball and make it far more difficult for us. He also wasn't great in the build up to the uh, Southampton goal as well. Defensively, um, you know, questions have to be asked of him there. And I thought we were better when Kieran Tierney come on. It begs the question, why didn't he start the game? Now, I know Arteta is trying to find that balance with regards to players' minutes. He's trying to manage the squad as best as he can, given that it is quite a small squad and that we're playing Thursday, Sunday, Thursday, Sunday. I totally get that. But today was a day to break that cycle. Today was a day to play Kieran Tierney and give us a little bit more um, on that left-hand side. I can see Kieran Tierney now sort of running up and down, doing his warm down along with the rest of the substitutes and players that came on uh, later on in the game. And he looks plenty fit to me. But anyway, that was uh, that was a, a contentious point. That was a frustrating thing uh, for me on a personal level. I know a lot of Arsenal fans expressed their concern about that ahead of the game. But as I say, you know, what was the second half down to? Was it attitude? Was it tiredness? If it's tiredness, you can kind of forgive it. If it's attitude, because we'd cruised in the first half, we'd got our noses in front, then that's unacceptable. And these players, these young players that are still developing, still uh, pushing forward, need to learn very quickly that the Premier League is an unforgiving place. And you give teams a sniff like we gave Southampton in that second half, they'll invariably punish you for it. So I am disappointed. I'm going to head off back to London now. Um, disappointed. It's a long drive. The, the weather was nice down here when I arrived, but the thunderstorms that greeted me when I woke up in this morning have made their way down south. So I'm not looking forward to battling those on the way home. But look, it's a really frustrating draw in the end. It's not the end of the world. It's our first draw of the season. Um, you know, we're still sitting uh, at the top of the league. We're two points clear of Manchester City on the same number of games played. And if you'd asked me at the start of the season whether I'd have taken that, I absolutely would have. So I'm not going to sit here and, and call it a crisis. I'm not going to have a meltdown about it. But there were things today that I think Mikel Arteta got wrong. There were things that the players got wrong. Um, there was a lack of intensity in the second half, especially. And whether that's down to tiredness or whether that's down to attitude, I guess we'll never really know the answer uh, from a sort of uh, onlooker's perspective. But yeah, we have to be better. We have to be better um, than we were today. And, and, and it's as simple as that. Frustrating. 
But we move European game away at PSV coming up on Thursday and back to Premier League action against Nottingham Forest next weekend. It's all about bouncing back. We're not going to win every game, but we have to be able to make sure that we can bounce back from setbacks. And this is a setback given we were winning the game and, um, and you know, and, uh, and continue the great form we've shown all season. It's funny because if we have been behind, not played very well in the first half and then played well in the second half and found the equaliser, the outlook on the game would be very different. You'd be saying Arsenal have shown spirit, Arsenal have shown fight, Arsenal have battled and Arsenal have shown a resilience. But obviously when it's the other way around, the narrative that follows will, will undoubtedly be different. But anyway, look, we'll chat about it in full um, on the podcast later on this evening. Uh, coming up at around about 9.45 p.m. Chronicles of Aguna live. Join me and we'll break it down in a lot more detail. Catch you all soon. Cheers. <laughs>